Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Hope all is well. So today I'm working on my uh, panel and new sub panel box. This is a project I've been working on for a while. I actually did the new sub panel down here so I could power a new heat pump which I installed earlier this summer. And this is not a very big sub panel. It's actually only have uh, maybe eight circuits on it. Uh, right now I have our, our heat pump over here, it's for the electric car, and then I have uh, two more spaces for double pole breakers, and eventually I'm going to hopefully gonna put a heat pump system in to, for that. It's uh, Right now it's wired for 60 amps, as you can see with the number 6 wire, and this is a really easy install to do. All I did was I had, uh, originally I had my car hooked in right here, 30 amp on a 30 amp breaker. So what I did was I pulled that breaker, put a 60 amp breaker in, ran some new leads down into the new sub panel and just tapped in. So it was a, actually a pretty easy job to do. What I'm doing today is I want to uh, just finish off my install. I never got around to installing some rubber grommets down here on these cutouts right here and there should be something there, your plastic or rubber grommet so the wires never hit against that bare metal. You can see right here, this neutral ground right here. Neutral right there is actually hitting against that. It's not such a great thing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna shut off my, my breaker right now. I'll do that right now. You can hear the heat pump just shut off over here. And I'm gonna shut off these breakers here like that. Just go through and make sure nothing's on. I have a wire tester, I can do that and unwire everything, unscrew everything, pull the wires back through, and then put my rubber grommets in, and then rewire everything in. So, you know, five, 10 minute job, 10 minute job probably to get this done. All right, so hope all is well. I'll show you once I get it done. I'm not gonna do it uh, holding an iPad and uh, try to do that at the same time. Show you a picture of what these one of these grommets look like. So this fits an inch and a quarter slot. I'm gonna show you my uh, my voltage tester right here. Simple button, just press it. It senses senses voltage. So if I go up to a to a hot line here, let's take this breaker right here. See how it changes pitch. Tells me that's hot. If I go to a ground right here, this is going to be hot. I have the breaker off. So nothing on that. Okay. So that's why I use the test voltage. I'll, I always keep this, this thing handy uh, whenever I'm working the panel. And I know shut something off. I want to make sure there's absolutely no current on the line. I use my tester. All right. So I'm going to switch the, uh, switch those, put those grommets in now. Got the uh, grommets installed. You can see. The black rubber there that's protecting the wires now got one there and i got one down here see if we can see this down here in between there's one in between too see that so pretty easy job now i recommend uh if you're gonna open your box you gotta know what you're doing here it can't be uh you know it's a hack you know i'm pretty good with, with electricity and electronics so i know what i'm doing but uh, this is not a regular do-it-yourself job. You should probably consult with an electrician or hire an electrician to do any work in your panel. Just saying, I'm not responsible if you electrocute yourself or you set your house on fire or so forth. But uh, I just want to point, point out that uh, when you do things yourself, you got to do them right. In this case, I needed that rubber grommet there to be safe and so forth. So everything's back on and uh, powers everything, heat pumps on, cars charging, and the uh, 60 amp circuit breaker is working fine. All right, hope you enjoyed. Oh, I want to show you guys one other thing here. This is, uh, whenever I do work on a panel, sometimes I just choose to turn the whole panel off. And if I, if I think I'm going to hit something else in the panel or I can't work on one circuit, often I'll just turn the whole main breaker off. So I want to show you something. When I turn this main breaker off, check this out. Check this out. All right. So there goes the power. But look, I still have light. Okay, and the reason is I have an emergency light installed LED right over 
the panel box. So when we lose power, I actually ever have to get down here and switch a circuit over to a generator. What I've done is installed a series of emergency lights. And this has come in so handy. I don't have to go for a flashlight the first thing when the power goes off. I know I have light to the basement and so forth. So I'm actually going to be doing a video on my emergency lighting in the basement and garage areas in our home. So if there's ever an emergency, we need light. We need to get out of the house fast or I need to get the generator or do something. I got a, a light pathway to get to the critical parts of the house, especially the uh, the basement where I need to switch over circuits and so forth. Okay, so we'll do more on the lights there and hope you enjoyed this project. Take care.